Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Virtual Flight Diaries. This one starts outside the sim. So I have discovered a tweak recently that uh, smooths out the sim for 2024 users a lot, actually. It actually uh, killed all my bottlenecking issues almost instantly. And it's a simple tweak. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there, but uh, I wanted to give you guys my take just in case you missed it. So here we are on my desktop and where we're going to go is to the users section where Microsoft Flight Simulator is. So this is the Steam version. Uh, so you want to go wherever your user config is. I know for the Microsoft Store guys, it's uh, labeled limit, Limitless. Uh, this is my uh, Steam version, so it's Microsoft 2024, and it's in my app data. I believe it's the same thing, app data roaming Limitless. And then it might be in a, in a cache folder. See, the file structure is a little different for Steam, but it's in the main folder of... Microsoft 2024 for Steam users. So you want to go to wherever this user config options file is. And you want to go inside. And we're going to go under the video section. And at the very bottom, you'll see frame limiter and it'll have a, a figure zero at it. What you want to do is, is you want to set, so start with 60. I started with 60 and it works perfect for me. Uh, you put 60 in here, save. And what it does is it hard limits the SIM, almost like a V-Sync to 60 frames, okay? So then you go into the SIM and you turn on frame gen. Now, it's going to base it off of not trying to push it to the max frames and then frame genning it, which then bottlenecks your uh, computer. It's going to start from 60 frames at a stable 60 frames. And then frame gen is going to go from there. So you now get a smooth, stable frame generation. So I will show you. All right. So we're here at the main screen of Microsoft Flight Simulator and not entirely sure you can see it, but in the upper corner of my screen, uh, it's showing 60 frames per minute. That's what I uh, frame limited it at. Now, before it was trying to push it out over to my uh, monitors uh, megahertz, which is a 240 megahertz monitor. Now you're going to, so I set it at 60 which is like a third of my frame rate capable for my monitor, you, you at least want to set it for half. So if you're running a 60 megahertz monitor, you want to go to 30. Uh, you can even go uh, lower. What you're looking for is your stable frame rates where your computer can get the frames at a stable uh, <clears throat> moment, you know, where it's not bouncing around that's your target frame rate and you want to set the limiter to that okay and then when you go into your options you could turn on dlss frame gen uh, multiplier two times because i only have a 40 series and then you can go from there so you know normally you would be able to v-sync that out but you can't but by doing that you're overriding that fact and you're v-syncing your system from the config file. All right. And then when you go into the computer, we'll, uh, we'll pop into Boston. It's got some, some pretty decent scenery overload. With the CRJ. So now we're in the sim and 
I could see that I have I'm running at about 110 112 frames solid on frame gen with no stutters go in the cockpit cockpit I got a 120 frames well yep 120 frames with frame gen on zero stutters and I got my TLD at 200 my LOD at 100 I got the Boston scenery I got this scenery running and she is smooth I'm telling you guys do that little tweak and things will run better for you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. On to the next one. See you.